Cobbler originated in the American colonies when English settlers were unable to make traditional recipes due to the lack of suitable ingredients. Cobblers were invented when fruit was covered with a layer of uncooked biscuit or scone batter. Juicy berries and a buttery biscuit topping come together in this easy to make cobbler. You'll need five to six cups of mixed berries. I'm using blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and sliced strawberries. You'll also need a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, the juice of a lemon, the zest of a lemon, a quarter of a cup of water, and a Pyrex baking dish. Start by sprinkling your half a cup of sugar onto your berries and your two tablespoons of cornstarch. Add your lemon zest and your lemon juice, your quarter of a cup of water, and using a spoon, just mix this all together until it's thoroughly mixed and then we'll put it aside and then put it into our baking dish. Once everything is thoroughly mixed together, just pour it into your Pyrex baking dish. To make the buttery biscuit topping, you will need one cup of flour, one third of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter of a teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of cold butter, and one half cup of milk, buttermilk, or half and half. One cup of flour, your teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Mix it all together. And now it's time to cut in your cold four tablespoons of butter. Using my pastry cutter, I've cut in the butter to where my mixture is about the size of a pea. And now it's time to add our cold milk. You don't want to overmix this, so you want to work quickly. And again, you can use milk, buttermilk, or half and half. And this is a time when you need to make sure that you've preheated your oven to 350 to 375, depending on your own oven. This will bake for about 30 minutes. So our berries have been sitting and they've released a lot of liquid, which is exactly what you want them to do at this point. You spread the fruit evenly in your bowl. And now using your hand, because this is a very dense mixture, just kind of treat it like you would a drop biscuit. And just put big hunks of it around the fruit. You don't want to necessarily cover the whole top because it's, you want some of the juices and fruit to bubble up as it bakes. And your last step before we put this into our preheated oven is to give it a light sprinkle of sugar. And again, this will go in the oven for about 30 minutes. This delicious dessert works well with peaches, apricots, apples, cherries, or any berries. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a cobbler, a crisp, or a crumble? Well, a crumble is a streusel topping of flour, sugar, and butter. A crisp is the same recipe, but with added oats. And a cobbler is a biscuit topping. So whatever your preference, this American deep dish dessert is sure to become a family favorite.